Uh, good afternoon and welcome to uh, Kilflin, uh, Valley Donahue, the, the site of this wonderful Church of Ireland church. And we're here to um, bring to a conclusion, I suppose, a wonderful project that has been going on in the community of Glenru Valley Organ for the past two months. And uh, we're delighted to have this wonderful facility to launch the project. And we're also delighted that we are uh, coinciding with the Joyce uh, Brothers Weekend and the Ballyhara Walking Festival. So uh, as the guests are arriving, a lot of them have been doing a lot of walking over the last few days. And as well as that, uh, they have been enjoying the whole musical experience of the Joyce Weekend. So the project we've been working on is uh, led by uh, Veronica Santorum. It's an environmental art sculpture that we have been creating. And the end product of all the efforts is down on the banks of the River Kale. And it's on the site of a most beautiful waterfall. If you haven't done the river walk and if you haven't seen the site, it's a treat in store. And now we have the added, we had, have the added attraction of this wonderful sculpture. Um, the working group have been working with Veronica to plan and design and manage and work on the project. And it has also involved a huge amount of people uh, within the community of Glen Rubelli Organ and the surrounding communities as well. Uh, the basic idea came from um, the title for the sculpture. We, we arrived at a decision that it would be Oshin of the Fianna because the local area here and stretching back to West Limerick is actually uh, one of the sites of the hunting grounds of the Fianna. And of course, we are also very near Glenasheen, um, just back the road, literally, uh, where Oisin is, uh, is said to have hunted. And I'm sure all the Fianna would have been around here in the day. The actual sculpt is uh, created, you could say, from the earth and from the ground because it's made of willow, uh, clay, decorated with moss and ivy. The hair, Oshin's hair, is, is woven alpaca wool. We, we are delighted with the, the end result which we are launching here today. Um, again, we're very grateful to um, Glenru Valley Organ Community Council who first introduced the project to the Arts Council and Limerick County Council who are funding the project and above all to the artist uh, Veronica Santorum. Uh, we've been very lucky, uh, wonderful today that we have the fine weather and an awful lot of the work on the project was done on the river and at the site. But prior to that, the preliminary work was done on workshops that were held in Glenrue and in Ballyorgan and on the river bank. And lots of families, lots of people engaged with Veronica in learning the skills required to build the sculpture. And we all had a great amount of fun and uh, really enjoyed participating in the project. <laughs> Good, after, good afternoon everybody and welcome to Kilflin Church today. Delighted to see so many um, faces here for the unveiling of the Oshin sculpture. Um, so thanks everyone for coming and I don't want to go away. I'm, I'm welcoming you on behalf of the, the Glenru Valley Oregon Community Council. And I don't want to go away without um, saying a few words about Neve and the great work that she's done in administering the project because it wasn't an easy task. Uh, she managed to coordinate all of the workshops together, making sure it was completely uh, inclusive. And then on to Veronica for the amazing work that she did. Um, when we go down and see the sculpture, we'll see how amazing it is in real life. But the amount of, you know, a huge amount of work has gone into building him. But the preparatory work that she did was absolutely phenomenal as well. Uh, researching all the materials, um, sourcing natural materials and making sure that Oshin is returned to the earth, you know, whenever. Um, so I, uh, without, without much more ado, I will hand you over to Niamh. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>
Hello everyone. Um, just to let you know a summary of, of what we're going to have now, we're going to have lovely music from the guys here and Sarah then is going to give us a lovely story about Oshin and a few words later from uh, Veronica and those involved with the project and there's a slideshow inside um, we'll have a look at that at the end and we'll follow on then to meet Oshin um, for his big reveal. So I'll just hand you over to Kira now next. <laughs> And so my story begins. The forest is my home. I was born here on a soft carpet of bracken and moss under an elegant birch tree. My mother sighed and her kind green eyes looking down at me. Her eyes were the only thing that gave away her humanness for I knew her mostly as a gentle doe. Years before my birth, Saive came to the attention of Anfar Dorica, the dark druid. But my mother did not love him and refused his offers of power and grandeur and because of this insult, he turned her into a deer. But the dark druid had not taken my father's wisdom into account the day he cast that spell on my mother. He thought that all men were like himself, greedy, manipulative, and with no care for anybody else's true desires, as long as his own were catered for. But my father, Fionn McCool, is an honourable and noble man, a kind and strong protector, a man walking in his highest, truest self every day. And my father embraced my mother's wild nature and loved her all the more for it. It broke the spell, enraging the dark druid. So one day, while Sive was pregnant with me, he approached the protective walls of Fionn's fort, disguised as Fionn himself. Sorry, I'm Veronica Santorum. I'm the artist who's kind of coordinated the project. So um, I'm going to say a few words about kind of the intention in the sculpture. And, um, and then Pippa Little is here from Limerick Arts Office and they have supported the project um, with Creative Ireland funding. And really it's, you know, it's thanks to Pippa seeing that there was something in this project that means it happened, so, um, so we're delighted. So Pippa will say a few words as well after me. So, um, so I suppose I've kind of phrased my little talk as like what I hope you'll see. And you can tell me afterwards whether you do see what I hope you'll see or not. Um, so I hope that when you come upon our sheen, that you'll kind of stop and it will be like coming upon a stag or a bear in the woodland, that there'll be that moment of, oh my God, <laughs> um, you know, this kind of force of nature, this powerful being. You'll see that deep connection that Sarah talked about, that deep connection with nature. Um, that he's gaining strength from that beautiful oak woodland. And I hope that you'll take a moment to kind of feel that surge of nature through yourself. Somebody mentioned um, earlier, you know, we hope he'll survive for two to three years. We don't know how long he's going to survive. So, you know, the sculpture is made of all natural materials. He's made of thousands of sticks and mud. And, um, and it's very damp down by the river, so those sticks are going to kind of decay quite quickly. So make the most of him. Go and see him soon. And, um, and you know, I'm hoping that he will 
biodegrade very elegantly um, with moss and ivy kind of taking over him so that even in two or three years there'll be a very kind of beautiful lump of clay <laughs> sitting there in the forest. well done to all of you it's amazing like it's amazing to be out here today um, and see the collaboration that's made this take place and hear the stories and the, the kind of shared sense of community that the, the piece has helped to bring about a uh, creative Ireland is about creativity and the theme of creative communities um, and the, the grant call that this was successful in um, is to do with implementing the Creative Ireland programme and a particular pillar called Enabling Creativity in Every Community. And I just think it's done it in the most amazing and wonderful way. Um, the Limerick Creativity and um, Cultural Strategy has particular themes as well to do with creative minds and nurturing our artists and creative citizens, which is people creating and accessing culture at their doorstep. And again, it just wonderfully embodies all of these. So there's also a sense of identity and reimagining Limerick and drawing from our really rich cultural histories from music and from Usheen and the Fianna and from today. And it's all coming about through this piece. Beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful, it's a credit. And um, the whole thing ties in so well with, with everything that's here. No, it's, uh, it's really good. What's this man think of it? Do you like it, MJ? Thumbs up. No. Give a high five? High five? No? It's so unique and it's so beautiful. Entirely made of all the natural around the natural materials around it and it's just in this magical area as well um, by the river and um, and the hands are very well done it's always hard to do the hands well and the touch of the harp it's a beautiful piece yeah very special really creative piece of work fabulous and as Veronica said hopefully he will retire and sink gracefully into the ground in time and cause no uh, pollution of any sort lovely Art is very good, well, very well put together, and uh, a lot of work went into it. It's an incredible work of the earth. <laughs> I'm just amazed at the work this group has done. It is so beautiful and fitting to the background here along the river walk. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, hi, I'm Pippa, I'm with Limerick Arts Office. You come around the corner and there's this magical moment when Oshin is there and he's waiting and you can come and see him with all the sunlight and uh, the Irish countryside around you. Okay. Uh, Neve McNeila. Lee O'Connor from Dublin. Um, I was absolutely blown away by it. It's, yeah, it's uh, fabulous. Great it's show of community spirit and community yeah. collaboration, creativity. Yeah, great um, piece of so work. Well done to everyone. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Amazing.
So I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for coming along today and particularly thank you to all the people who've been involved in making our sheen. Um, I have some standing around, around him now um, and thank you to everyone who's made this day a great day. Thank you.